Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A live look in in Stillwater, Oklahoma, and the house T. Boone built. T. Boone Pickens Stadium in Stillwater, our site. Players on the field getting those hammies, getting those quads loose, and set for a fast-paced showdown today. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. still as we count down to kickoff at Boone Pickens Stadium. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste at zero calories. Enjoy everything. teed up and we're just about ready to get this one started he really got a hold of that kick he's to the 20 and he's taken down at the 26 yard line so let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field incomplete intended for his wideouts. Boy, that was a rocket. If the receiver didn't come down with it, quarterback made sure nobody else was going to come down with it either. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. And he's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Broke away from one. Gets out to around the 45. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Play fake, looking to run. And he is drilled at the 47-yard line. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a five on the that brings him second and five. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Makes it out to about the 33. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs just pushing this defense further and further down back deep into their own territory. Caught and he's hit immediately. That'll make it second to seven. From the 30 yard line, second down. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. 
Fires that quickly incomplete. And the defense comes through. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Throws complete. He's hammered. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. That's a great tackle at the 48. to the tailback. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. And as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the call on the field stands. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 74-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. The score now, 7-0. He's, he's tackled at the 23-yard line. The Cowboys are right where they want to be early in this one, Father. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. 
And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they push him out around the 24-yard line. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 24. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. Oklahoma State's lead is a touchdown. to the action now here in the second quarter. Another run. And down he goes around the 31-yard line. One-yard loss for the halfback. Silva is waiting for the snap. Burns fields it at the 37, and he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oklahoma State up seven points. Open receiver drops. Wilson's the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He chucks it downfield. He's hit and taken down. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Let's go. Red 18. Red 18. Got a man complete and he's hit hard. That brings him second and five. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 10. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Takes it to his receiver. Touchdown. how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, the Hokies sitting in the top five and hoping to move up. And for Virginia Tech, they're looking to win two in a row. Wesley's a determined runner and one that makes the most of every opportunity. He has this opportunity to get it into the end zone. Virginia Tech leads it 14-7. In other games, the Cardinals were ranked number 17 in the land. 
after the disappointing loss, they hope to just maintain any position in the poll. So you went into this game thinking it was going to be an easy W? Better think again. We've got an upset brewing. And for Barnes, he grabbed a couple of scoring tosses. Vanderbilt pulls it out by a field goal. 14 to nothing in this one, Reese. Hill has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Brown from the one. Oh, man, did he take a hit. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 28. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Stewart brings him down at the 35 yard line. That makes it third and three. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Drop down around the 40 yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Throws a bullet. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. receiver he's at the 30 he gets hit out of bounds at the 24 this receiver showed soft hands and hung on to the first down and if I'm not mistaken the defense sent their corner on a blitz if he doesn't get to the quarterback the numbers are in favor of the offense just like we saw we've got a first and ten ball on the 24 Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's tackled at the 13-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. Fires incomplete. You know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open. He just missed fire. From the 13-yard line, second down. He's taken down at the 11-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Hokies entered the game ranked in the top five in the nation. The teams ranked just behind them, starting to apply the heat. Can they hold their spot at number five? This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Virginia Tech, they reach the end zone on the ground. The Hokies lead 21-14. 14-3 game here, Reese. Brigham Young lines up for the kickoff. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. 
Oklahoma State's offense is just clicking on all cylinders for me right now. It's everything they plan for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Zips it to the back. And he's taken down right around the 38 yard line. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. That's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Just throws this one away. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Finds his man, first down. Got it to the senior. The offense is going to try to open this field out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Catches it, and that's all. job to identify the weakness in this defense. Any good offense will exploit those holes over and over again. From the 35-yard line, first down. Swings it out there incomplete. Burns was his intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. He heaves it to the end zone. And he came down with it. What a catch. And he hits the PAT. It was a seven-play, 68-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and turn the yard and just rip the heart right out of that boot. So the score now, 21-3. Brown takes it from the six. And he's taken down at the 28. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Thomas picks him up six yards with a catch. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They come out in a five wide set. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down to the ground. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. He fires. They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line. They make the stop at the 14-yard line. The Cougars using their third and last timeout. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. Kicks away, and he got it. 
they head to the locker rooms. This one is far from over. The Cowboys in front by 15. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So... You know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to create, not to give away any turnovers. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Burns from the five. Tackle made at the 26. This offense has really seemingly been unstoppable. Should be interesting to see now if the defenses change things up as they try to stop these guys. the first down catch. Tackle around the 41-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. They'll spread the field with five wide. Going deep. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Wilson was the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Fires quick. He's got another one. And down he goes at the 44. job of stopping the run but they need to be careful the play action pass you can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air the Cougars had one of their key players go down earlier but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup goes to the receiver incomplete this quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen they need to get it to the 19. They come out on an empty backfield. Ready. And he is drilled at the 15 yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. 
receiver. Big play, and it's first and goal. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Rose, complete touchdown. These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11 play, 74 yard drive good for a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Humphrey fields at the goal line. Tackle at the 23. Oklahoma State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a, a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll work the left side. Tackle after a decent pickup. That brings up second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. My 52, my 52. And he hits him hard at the 46. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at about the 47 yard line. That makes it second and 10. Here we go, team. Five wide. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's tackled at the 35 yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Catches it, and he's looking for more. That's a great tackle at the 29-yard line. McCollum on the tackle at the 29-yard line. That'll make it 35. This is the eighth play of this drive. Make that hang with us. 552. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. It's like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And they're stopped short, and they'll turn it over. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He's taken down at the 33. That'll bring up second and two. 
And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. He's pushed out of bounds at the 32. Hill is the punter. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They bring him down in the backfield. That's three down and one to go. Oklahoma State's lead is 22. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's at the 40, and he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Makes it to the 27. That's a deal of 12 on the play. First down. Man left, man left. Gets out to around the 18. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He makes it to the 15-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That makes it first and ten. Second down and 11. Ball on the 17. Little handoff. The 10. Makes it out to about the 7. And this play is number 8 on the drive. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Just under three to go in regulation. Got his receiver, touchdown.
Presley. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. When you're in the huddle and the post route is called, the quarterback and the wide receiver get excited because they know that there's a chance for a big play. Here, the offense does a good job of protecting the quarterback, allowing the quarterback enough time to make that big throw. And of course, the receiver has the speed and the, and the hands to make the play for the touchdown. And he's tackled at the 37. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's at the 20, the 10. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. Great run by the back there. He could have gone all the way. to his receiver. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he adds the extra point. Quick to play, 37-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three, and down he goes at the 20. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Just over two minutes in the game. Run right, hit the backfield. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Great reaction to give his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Accepted, and he's tackled around the 39-yard line. Personal foul. Basement. Defense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here's the give, and they make the stop at the 25. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. They come out in a five-wide set. Set, green, 88. Heads up, up the middle, and stuffed. No game on the play. Third down. and it's picked off and he tackles him hard at the 16 yard line nice interception and an even nicer vertical oh yeah this guy's an athlete there's no throwing it over this guy's head he'll go up and get it
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 16. He's out to the 30. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. Brigham Young will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. They'll bring him down at about the 41. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. He's got it with room to run. Very good tackle in space. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Throws it out right to the running back. And down he goes at the 30. Cowboys know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye and we'll see you next time.